Hey y'all, I'm back with another word and I'm back with some truth. So what I want to talk about today is how the devil will try you. He will try to come and destroy everything. We know this, right? Kill, steal, and destroy. But do you know why he really does it? Because you're trying your best to be different. You're trying to change. Ever since I started this walk with the Lord, I'm talking about since the very first day, I have been getting tried left and right left and right from my relationships from my um oh my family my daughter okay the devil have came to destruct and i always tell people around me like you know i'm in this spiritual war warfare i'm in this spiritual walk with god and i need you guys to be strong because the devil will try to come through you and people don't listen people just think that oh you know you're tripping um you know, it's not that deep and God won't give you nothing that you can't handle and all of these things. Right? But the devil will come and try to mess up everything on down to your faith. The devil will come for you because he knows that you have this hedge of protection. And what he tries to do is take that protection away from you. He wants you to get out of the presence of the Lord. And he wants you to go back to your negative thoughts, the negative things that you used to do. He wants you to doubt. He wants you to lose faith, all that. So he will come for you. He will come for you in a way that you would never expect. He will go through the people that you will never expect. The devil has tried me super hard ever since the first day that I decided to say you know what I'm gonna give my life to Christ I'm gonna follow the Lord I'm gonna do the right thing I have been getting attacked I know what you guys are going through when it comes down to following the Lord and the devil try to knock you off your pivot oh if you don't understand what spiritual warfare is you will be so confused you will be like God where are you at God says that I'm right here this whole time with a hedge of protection over your life don't forget why you started this walk. Don't forget what I did for you last time. Don't forget how the devil comes the same exact way. But what trips me out is how the devil goes through people close to you. How the devil goes through people you don't expect. How the devil just goes through people just to get to you. Just to make you down and out. When God always protects us. So every time the devil comes for me and I'm just like, you know what? I don't know what to do next, God. I don't know what's going on. I'm getting attacked. I'm getting tried. God says, pray. Pray and watch what happens. Instantly, instantly, things start to change. People start to call. Things start to happen. Signs come up. Miracles, signs, and wonders is what God does. The devil knows when your blessing is on its way. See, the devil is in the spiritual realm. So he could see a blessing from a mile away, let me tell you. And so then he will have people acting out, acting crazy, testing you in your faith. And God is watching you the whole time to see exactly how you react. And sometimes I almost fall, you guys. I'll be like, you know what, God? I'm tired. God said, you better get some energy. Uh, you weak. You better get strong. You better say that you are strong. You poor. You better say that you are rich. Because you are rich in the Lord. You are strengthful. You do have the strength. I'm telling you guys. The devil is a liar. I was reading a book and it said that one thing that the devil wants people to think is that he does not exist. We know he do. People that's really spiritual and really follow the Lord, we know that he exists. We know this, right? So I have three little children and I have two older teenagers. Now, my teenagers just got into teenage years and they have been getting tried left and right every single day every day and i watch it and i tell them guess who the devil uses them the devil will use your kids because he know that your kids are vulnerable and that you're vulnerable for your kids he know who's weak he know who's strong see the devil already know what i care about the devil knows what you care about so that's what he attacks the devil will attack your children, your loved ones, your close ones, the people closest to you. This is what he does so that you could just flip out and get all out of whack and forget about God. You guys, when I say from the very first time I started this walk, I would be going live on Instagram and my kids would walk out the house. My kids was running away during the time. OK, running away from home to the streets during the time that I started my walk. The narcissist that I was dealing with was telling me crazy things. Oh, your kids don't care about you. Oh, that's why your kids don't love you. That's why they're doing what they're doing. Oh, you're getting karma from what, 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 wham. I have got told so many things because the devil has accused me. The devil will accuse you. But they will say everything, but you are a child of God. They will say everything that you're doing wrong or what's going wrong, but they're not stating what you're doing right. 
God said keep pressing forward because at the end of the day, what he's going to do? Prepare that table in front of your enemies and the naysayers. But don't think too much about the enemies. Think so much about the demonic attacks that's going on against you, to you, for you. I've been done so wrong, including you guys too, because I know what you guys go through. I know what the people of Christ go through. I know what God's children go through. We go through attacks after attacks after attacks and it makes us confused. But I'm gonna let you guys know something. Can I tell you something? You are so strong with the strength from God. You are so strong. You could do amazing things by God's grace. You could do amazing things through God's mercy. You can do amazing things. I mean, things out of this world that you never thought that you can do by the power of God, by the power of God, by keeping your faith, by keeping your faith, by being faithful, by being obedient, by not having doubt. By really believing that God is going to change everything like he always does. Just because you're going after God, the devil is going after you. Trust me. The most weirdest things has happened to me. The most weirdest things has been said to me. The most weirdest things has been done to me. And I just didn't understand at first. But it happened so much, I understand it. It is a norm for me. So my norm is going after God. My norm is staying with God, my norm is not going back to the world. My norm is keeping the faith and getting stronger and stronger into God's word so that I can have understanding. God said, lean not on your own understanding. If you don't understand what's going on, God has a plan. If it's confusion, the devil is around. But understand that God will work everything out for you. Everything that the devil had evil for you, God will turn it around for your good. If you love the Lord, if you love God, and if you keep the faith. But the minute you give up, the devil got you. So never give up. Always go to God. Talk to God. Ask God, what is the will for your life? And God will begin to reveal what the will of your life is. What the will for your life is. God will begin to reveal what you need to do. Who you need to talk to. What you need to say. God will give you the words. God will give you the strength, more importantly, to press forward. And do exactly what you're supposed to do. Because there is a calling on your life. Believe it or not, but believe, says the Lord. Believe it, and so it shall be. And that's what I do. I know it's something for me. I know God has a plan for me. I know it. Because the spiritual warfare that I have been through and the way that I'm able to keep on pressing forward by the power of God, by the Holy Spirit giving me the words and giving me just the hope, giving me the feeling, giving me the love that I need. God got you. Keep on pressing forward. And for those demonic attacks and these narcissists and the devil trying to go through your family, if God allowed it to happen, please believe he got a plan for you. Okay? Remember the word says, according to your faith, what is your faith? What do you believe? Do you know that God has something for you? Yes, you do. And when you expect that blessing, you will receive that blessing. Ask. Ask for the blessing and you shall receive. That's the reason why God left us with this word because he knew we was going to deal with this. He knew we was going to run into doubt. He knew we were going to run into obstacles. But guess what? We're going to get through them. We're going to continue to press forward. That's why I have the spirit of encouragement, the spirit of discernment because I asked for it because I need to know. So God said, tell my people the good news. Tell my people that I'm coming, okay, to rescue you. God will rescue you. Rest in God. Rest in the Lord. Stay still for the Lord. Always pray to God. Never give up. Always press. And whatever you don't understand, take it to the Lord and ask Him. But lean not on your own understanding. The old me would have sat here and cried and almost gave up and probably gave up. If it wasn't for the new me and the new you that you are, we wouldn't be able to press forward. But be grateful and be thankful that we are able to go forward in the middle of our mess. God will bless us. I love you guys and stay loving God because he loves you. Amen.